Good morning. It is June 11th, 2022. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Fighting for change. Huge rallies demanding gun reform are expected today in over 400 cities across America. We'll have details on the marches and the status of legislation moving through Congress. Recession fears. Inflation hits a 40-year high as stocks tank and the price of nearly everything continues to rise, including at the pump where gas prices cross a never before seen threshold. Burning up, excessive heat warnings are posted for millions of Americans today as temperatures soar. Some cities expecting well above 100 degrees. We will get the forecast. And blazing a trail. She was told running would destroy her body and ruin her chance of having children. On the 50th anniversary of Title IX, which outlawed sex-based discrimination in sports, we'll talk to a woman who led the way even when some men physically tried to stop her. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener. Your world in 90 seconds. This time feels different because I have more gun owners and Republicans than ever before joining me in the movement for gun safety. As negotiations continue over an agreement on new gun safety measures at the federal level, activists are planning a second March for Our Lives in Washington. We do not have to accept this for our children. Former President Trump firing back at his eldest daughter over her deposition testimony before the January 6th committee, saying Ivanka was not involved in studying election results and had, quote, long since checked out. More than 50 million people across the Southwest bracing for a dangerous and potentially deadly heat wave. Record-setting temperatures are likely for us from places like Las Vegas back down into central Texas. Inflation is surging at the fastest pace in more than 40 years. There was a headline in every website today, gas now $5 a gallon. And everyone in L.A. went, oh, finally, some good news. <laughs> CDC officially dropping COVID testing requirements for travelers entering the country. Countries attending President Joe Biden's Summit of the Americas this week agreed to a migration accord. Hot on camera, an animatronic Spider-Man crashing into a building during a daring stunt at Disneyland. Distant shot. It's good. Steph Curry. Game four of the NBA Finals between the Celtics and Warriors. Steph Curry dropping 43, including the dagger in the final moments. Warriors even the series up. Surfs up and paws are down <laughs> as dogs <laughs> hit the beach for Purina Surf Dog Competition, which I didn't even know was a thing. Maybe not all dogs can hang 10, but these ones sure can. Everyone wanting the top dog status. Oh, it was so fun out there. We, JoJo had a blast. It went really well. Petey is quite the little surfer. This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Dog surfing. Bart yeah. would never do that. Really? Yeah, ever. They never. just like they just strap them in. I'm not sure there's much think so. skill involved. You got to stay on the board. Well, hang ten is a very specific term. I'm not sure they would. The dogs could no, handle. They, they that. really. Are. They look good. They look. They did. Cute. They, they were yeah. cute. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Jeff Glor, along with Michelle Miller and Dana Jacobson. This morning, we are going to take you to Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. The beloved summer getaway for many is also the permanent home to Pulitzer Prize winning author Geraldine Brooks. We're going to catch up with her, meet her horses, and hear how one legendary horse served as inspiration for her latest novel. Then we will go to Trinidad to drink in the culture, literally. Mark Quisi Farrell used to be a top executive at Starbucks, but he's now focused on rum, the native liquor of the Caribbean. However, that's just a small part of the awareness campaign he's launched. He will travel down to the islands and dive right in with the man himself. Oh, you're going to dive? I did dive. Nice. Wow, Michelle, very nice. And how about a bit of home cooking from someone who knows a good meal when he tastes one? We're going to hit the kitchen with New York Times food columnist Eric Kim and get some recipes from his new cookbook that is in the dish. And we'll wrap things up with a performance from a band whose new album has already produced a Billboard number one hit. The Head and the Heart will play right here in our Saturday session. That and so much more is all ahead.
But we begin this morning with renewed demands and renewed demonstrations for Congress to tighten gun legislation. Tens of thousands of people are expected to march in Washington and more than 400 other cities in the U.S. for the March for Our Lives following the recent mass shootings in New York and Texas. Caitlin Huey Burns is at the White House with the latest this morning. Caitlin, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, Michelle. Good to be with you. Well, thousands of activists are going to be gathered here in Washington and in 450 cities across the country in the wake of shootings in Uvalde and Buffalo. The group is being, act, being organized 